Bad parents put themselves and their kids in bad situations. But hey, it's not their fault, right? They're just victims of a bad situation. Their husband was a deadbeat, if he's even there. And who could have seen that coming? That's just one of many excuses that they use. The thing is, if you're still making excuses for yourself and justifying your failure, you'll never grow. The fact that someone can grow out of love and ruin somebody else's life, then yours, then your kid or kids, is astounding to me. It shows a serious lack of forward thinking, yet it happens quite often. So now you're a single mother, and the men you thought you would be dating suddenly aren't interested in you as you're older and you have baggage. Does that make you a victim? No. It makes you a terrible person. But that's just one example. One that has long-reaching ramifications. You've lost a serious amount of income, a second party to take care of your children while you work, one who they also love as a parent, and in just about everyone in your family, it lowers their happiness and support levels. Also, it could cause them to need therapy later, and in many cases, it does. But selfish people don't consider anyone else in their selfishness. That's why it's called selfish. No matter how hot you think the person is that you're trying to nuke your relationship or marriage over with, they aren't. And it's not worth it. It's worse if you think you can get away with it. Because when your partner eventually finds out, they'll be even more angry. Is it better that they stick together with you and hate you forever, causing a rift between you and your kids? Or worse, what if you are the one causing the rift? Or if you're separating or causing a rift between them and their kids just because you wanted some extracurricular fun, it's never worth it. And what if you separate, and you're with the bad boy you've always wanted? Is he just using you? Is he causing you to go somewhere dangerous to be with him? Are you sometimes afraid for your life, but that danger is exciting to you? Get therapy, now. That behavior is infantile and self-destructive. If you lose your kids, what then? If your kids are in poverty, as many single mothers' kids are, what then? Are you a good parent because you're struggling to make ends meet, even with all the handouts you're given just because you're a poor single mother? If your kids grow to hate you because many of your poor decisions, what do you do then? Because many kids do grow to hate their single mothers. You did this to yourself. End of video.